Jim here. I'm a type 1 diabetic using an insulin pump, continuous blood glucose monitor, and open source software to create a closed loop artificial pancreas. It's Tuesday, May 3rd, and I am crushing type 1 diabetes. Headed over to the lab to get some lab work done, uh, blood panel, A1C, all that fun stuff. So, gotta do that before I eat breakfast. My phone died while I was walking to the lab after that last video. I did get my lab work done without any issue. However, my G5 Dexcom hasn't had any readings for the last half an hour. I had thought about bringing my blood glucose meter and testing and recording everything right when I got my blood work just to see if the BG number matched up, but I forgot to do that, plus my phone died. So maybe next time. There are two main labs in the US. One is Quest Diagnostics and one is LabCorp. They're both about the same. I've been to both. You end up going to which one your insurance coverage. I have United Healthcare and they use LabCorp. Also, depending on what insurance coverage you have, you may or may not be able to get an A1C in the doctor's office. They may only cover lab work, which is strange because it's probably a lot more expensive to do it via the lab. I can only get work done inside the lab with my current setup. That's because I use United Healthcare, and it's the only healthcare I have a choice from um, based upon work. I'll be excited to see how my results come back. They're also doing, I think, a little bit of other work, so I can look how my trend lines across the blood panel is. I forgot to give you guys my weekly update yesterday, so I'm going to do it right now. My stats for last week were 91% in range, low of 50, high of 176, and generally pretty good overall. I had some downtime with my Dexcom G5 CGM, so I actually had less than 2,000 readings, so my numbers might have been a little bit higher, meaning higher percentage in range. My 14-day A1C was down at 5.3, which is the lowest I've seen in this software with a 105 average, so very stoked. My Saturday morning weigh-in, I was down 0 0.8 pounds, 179.1 was my weight over week over week, so good. This week though, since then I've been sort of off the wagon, so we'll have to see how we turn out, but uh, glad to be under 180. I also wanted to do a quick review of what happened overnight after that Mexican food. You can see here I had a bunch of boluses overnight. Open APS was giving me a little bit extra insulin you see here trying to push me down, but I did wake up a couple times around 150, 160. All of these little dots are two or three units that I gave myself. Which amazingly enough is 21 units of bolus, not including what happened extra from open APS. I've actually seen that the last couple of nights and I've been sick. So at this point, I want to see if it's sickness or something else. Obviously, that was a ton of food though. Today is the day on my calendar that I'm up for getting new sensors from Dexcom, which should happen automatically. Since this is my first time doing them automatically, I figured I'd call and check. And they told me, oh, we need new approval from your insurance. If you're running a business where you can close a sale on May 2nd or May 3rd of 2016 that required some approvals and signatures first, that you would do that ahead of time so you could cha-ching your money right away. Instead, I will be waiting for, they said a week, we'll see how we go. Luckily, I still have some sensors left. I got this counter so that for the study I'm doing, I can count how many times I look at my blood sugar and open APS stuff a day. So I'll start that tomorrow. That's how you rock a piece of toast.